Watch out, watch out. Ali, what's up, buddy? Welcome back. You good? Got some nice stuff for you today, bro. The second most desirable steel Rolex. Look at that bad boy. Let's go check it out. Got here something very special, the 326934, also known as the Rolex Skydweller, 42 millimeter with the blue dial. One of the most sought after watches in the world right now. If you look at these market price versus retail, you will absolutely lose your mind. This is also one of the most uh, complicated watches that Rolex makes and I, I personally love this. What are you wearing today? Uh, I got the uh, white gold GMT on. This watch is super hard to get right now. I mean, uh, no chance at a retailer. And uh, it's not even just within your region. I mean, globally, you're not gonna find this watch at a retailer. Unless you are super, super VIP, you're probably not even watching this video because you already have this watch. But for those of you who are, and you want it today, you don't want a wait list, uh, make sure you come see us at Watch Finder. So this is the 42 millimeter Skydweller in uh, stainless steel. The bezel on this, was, which is also its functioning uh, mechanism, is white gold. So they put a white gold fluted on this. And uh, what makes this watch so special is this bezel actually, because all of its functions, uh, so you set your date, time, uh, you can set your GMT, you could set your month. It's very, very intricate. This is like the most complex movement that they make. One of the best watches, I would say. When it comes to wrist presence, for you silent type in the room, if you're wearing this, I mean, the watch guys are gonna know exactly what you're doing. The everyday person might really not know what it is. They might say, hey, nice watch, you know, if they don't know it's Rolex, but uh, trust me, you won't see too many people wearing this around. Would you say it looks like a big day test? I, I would say this looks kind of like a big date just. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd probably confuse it for one. You know, they took that style, that classic style of Rolex and they made it into this watch. And this was actually released, if I'm not mistaken, in 2018. But prior to that, they only had gold models of this watch. So they kind of made this for, you know, the more low key customer. If you guys are looking at this for investment purpose, I don't think there's really a good way to answer that question. Cause I mean, if you look at this price versus its retail, it's almost two times retail, sometimes 2.5 times retail. And at times with the blue dial, it's even more. Like you might hit three times retail for this watch. If you can get your hands on one, let us know, call us up. We're always buying, we're always selling, let us know. Uh, as of recently, the blue dials are out of control. I mean, anything blue on it is just so nice and, and I think that's why it's being such a good seller lately. Also compared to this, I think the only way to break this blue market is if they put this in a green dial. If they put this in a green dial, it's over. The blue is gonna be the second sought after. I think the green will overtake it, but uh, who am I to say? If any of you Rolex manufacturers are watching and you wanna make a green sky dweller, make sure you Tag me in your video. As I said before, this being the uh, second most desirable Rolex, uh, I would say the first most desirable right now is the stainless steel Panda which uh, obviously I don't have one to show you. They sell so fast. If I had to choose, oh, it's a tough one. I, I'd, I love this watch setup, but uh, I just know that Daytona is gonna be, you know, in 20, 30 years from now, it's gonna be something special. So we'll see. I'd probably go with the Daytona myself, but uh, I would definitely have this in the collection before I get the Daytona, I think. Overall rating, um, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I love the watch. I don't love the price, but I love the watch.
Thanks for checking in, guys. Uh, remember, be sure to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Give me some opinions. Uh, what do you think on the market of this watch, where it's going, and just what you think overall. Give me your own personal rating. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like down below. We've got a lot more content coming your way. If there's anything else you'd like to see, um, leave it in the comments. And also, let us know what your favorite dial and setup of this Skydweller is.